Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey, week commencing Monday the 22nd of February through to Sunday the 28th of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us Aquarius. Okay, so for your first crowning message, Aquarius, big fat yes. And then we have ascending and we have fall. Okay, those Aquariuses that I am reading for this week, I feel as though you and your divine counterpart are absolutely ascending to the next level of this connection. I feel as though you both are fully aware of each other. You may actually be in union with each other. And I feel as though Divine Spirit Universe is coming in and saying, illuminating to both of you that you are each other's twin flame. And I feel as though what is being illuminated is that I feel trials, tribulations, um, the good, bad and ugly, it's as though you're both, you've both come through the other end, okay, and I feel as though um, you're ready to go on that journey, ascending to the next level of the growth, the spiritual growth of this connection, and I feel as though this ascension is going to come in um, the months of the fall, so for me, the fall represents autumn, so that's September, October, November of 2021. That is when I feel as though that next level, that's that that's solidarity of union is, is really going to come into effect around the months of September, October, November 2021. Beautiful crowning message, Aquarius, um, for you. For your crowning wisdom messages, we have 999. Mastery of self-love has been obtained in preparation for union. Absolutely. Do you remember I was saying that if you've gone through trials or tribulations or, you know, the good, bad and the ugly, I feel as though um, Aquarius, it could be you or your divine counterpart needed to um, apply self-love. OK, um, and almost don't stifle the connection, if that makes sense. Apply self-love um, with no expectations, operating from that from that place of love, peace and light. And boy, have you absolutely mastered it. Well done. OK, um, and then we have five, five, five. Your angels are with you during this time of change and transition. Absolutely. Aquarius, I cannot make. Uh, do you know what? I really wish that I could do shuffle the cards on camera, um, the crowning cards, but it would just take too long. And I just think people just just yeah not not tune in um but uh i feel as though um you're both um connecting with your higher selves divine spirit universe through your crown chakras and i feel as though your spirit team is categorically coming in and saying yes 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 you've both got it you've applied that self love you're both ascending to that new level um of the spiritual learning, growth, evolution. And I feel as though as you go through that, as you've gone through the changes and as you go through further changes, particularly around the fall months of September, October, November, your spirit team is going to be around both of you through this, through change and through trans transition. And then we have 0550. Your angels say to wait and bide your time for better results. Absolutely. You're both going through changes, Aquarius. There's no doubt. Uh, being illuminated to change, being illuminated to the depth of this connection, categorically understanding both of you that it is a big fat yes. Um, you have met your divine counterpart for absolute sure. But there are changes, um, there's changes from, I, I almost feel like that in-between stage, not quite, um, 
uh, finished with the past learnings, lessons of past relationships um, and yet still not fully in union in the future of um, how you are supposed to be. And I feel as though Aquarius, this whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine in this connection, I feel as though uh, Aquarius, the wisdom coming in for you is just bide your time right now. Allow divine spirit to fully illuminate um, and fully take you and your divine partner to that ascension level. And I feel very strongly that it's going to be around those four months of September, October, November 2021. So bide your time, Aquarius. Um, just allow the flow of this connection to, to, to take foothold um, because it most definitely, I feel as though it's going in the right direction. Okay, for... Um, uh, Aquarius, um, for all of you um, that uh, are returning subscribers, um, I just want to say thank you for returning. Um, if this message is uh, resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. Um, thank you, um, subscribers, for all of your um, support, encouragement, donations. I am truly, truly grateful. Those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I really do hope that you get something valuable out of this reading on your twin flame journey. Um, if you'd like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please feel free to click that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Let's get into your main love message, Aquarius. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey week commencing Monday the 22nd of February through to Sunday the 20. 8th of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you and your twin flame. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Deception, yeah. Okay, my eight, thank you. We have numbing. <laughs> we have stuck. I'm giggling here because I feel, because I, it, your crowning message is so positive. It almost feels as if the divine masculine in this connection, it's kind of like, uh, as they ascend, okay, understanding that they have actually come in, that they've met their, their twin flame. Um, I feel as if they're kind of like scratching their head, like, really? Like, really? Have I really? It's like, you know, have I really met my, my twin flame? They may have denied this connection for a hot minute, um, though, Aquarius, whether you are the divine masculine or the divine feminine. And look at that. We have, yeah, wow. We have solitude and we have action. Absolutely. Okay, so I feel as though Aquarius, I, I feel as though it wasn't a coincidence that I was saying about trials and tribulations and, and the good, bad and the ugly. I feel as though um, the Aquariuses that I'm reading for this week, I feel as though there has been something that kind of kept you guys stuck in a rut, okay? There was some sort of stagnation and it may have been around uh, applying self-love, okay? Um, and I, I, I feel also as well, it wasn't a coincidence that I was saying Aquarius is, you know, if you were strangling the connection or stifling the connection, it's like you needed to apply self-love in order to help this connection along. It also could also represent the divine masculine. Um, uh, if you are the divine masculine Aquarius, um, you may need it to have applied self-love. Um, you know, it's almost as if you denied this connection for a hot minute. And I feel as if you're moving forward now, absolutely ready to go on that journey as you are being illuminated um, through the uh, changes and transition of accepting um, that the person you're connecting to is that divine feminine counterpart. Okay. 
I also feel as though um, divine masculines, you may have um, stifled or, you know, your actions of the past may have kind of put this uh, connection in a bit of a rut. It was as if, um, I almost feel like that hangman, um, it was quite stagnant. Spiritually, you quite stagnant. I feel as though the divine masculine may have been doing some um, shadow work around self-love. It's almost as if they couldn't accept or, you know, consciously or unconsciously, like, um, have I have I really met my divine counterpart? Um, and I, I feel that's what the confusion is. But this enlightenment, um, I feel as though the big fat yes is hitting them this week, okay? But as they go through this process of, I almost feel healing, you know, if they've tried to hide their feelings or hide... Um, hide past baggages, uh, past emotions, you know, the good, bad and the ugly of past relationships where I feel that they needed to have applied self-love, they're going to be doing that. And I feel as though that it really is confusing them. It really is. They're kind of in that kind of back and forth, that in-between stage, not quite got rid of the karma of the past, okay, or lessons and learnings of past relationships, and they haven't quite fully moved into a proper tight, tight union um, with the divine feminine energy, okay, and as they go through this process, and I feel it's going through um, the fall, do you know what I find really interesting? All of this week has really been focused on the divine masculines, really really has anyway that was just a side note um aquarius i feel as as the divine masculine is um being enlightened ascending to accepting and not denying this connection um working through you know self-love um emotional baggage um feeling a bit stuck in the rut um, I feel as though the divine feminine energy in this connection is in solitude, um, is in um, almost kind of reflecting, okay, um, reflecting when to take action towards their divine masculine counterpart. And I feel as though as they're in solitude, it's not a coincidence that the wisdom message card here is saying to your, your angels are saying, abide your time for better results. And it's not a coincidence that I associated that with the divine feminine energy. It really isn't. And as the divine feminine is kind of just sitting in peace, almost in her, holding her peace, um, I shouldn't say her, um, the divine feminine energy, whether you are male or female, um, you have the, you're the, the, the strong part of the divine feminine connection. Okay. Aquarius. And I feel as the divine feminine is almost sitting in their peace, in their solitude, um, calm, calm, reflecting on the connection. They also may be picking up that the divine masculine energy in this connection is going through changes, okay? And I feel as if they are being guided not to take action just yet, wait, and that's what they're going to be doing, okay? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, let's have a look at your clarifications, Aquarius. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the twin flames of Aquarius sun moon rising? Thank you. And here is the divine feminine energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though the divine masculine energy sees the divine feminine energy as somebody that is um, grounded, nurturing, quite intuitive, balanced, okay, solid, absolutely solid. And the divine masculine may have denied that connection for a hot minute. And look, they're walking away. They're walking away from deception, from denying this connection. That's part of their ascension, okay? Because it wasn't serving the connection to deny it. And look, I feel as though <laughs> with that Ace of Wands, uh, Aquarius, whether you are the Divine Masculine or the Divine 
feminine in this connection i feel as though the divine masculine it may have started off very much on a physical level okay but the divine masculine has got the hots for their divine feminine trust me um and i feel as though that's what's confusing them it's kind of you know that initial connection was very much on the physical okay and i feel that's why they denied it being anything more than just physical attraction, sexual attraction. Um, and I feel as if they are being enlightened to know, do you know what? This is a lot more. I can't deny this connection with the divine feminine energy. And I feel as if they're taking strong action to come towards the divine feminine um, around the, the months of September, October, November of 2021 um, with messages of passion. And I feel that's part of the process of them getting out of that stuck rut. Yep, look, here they come. We have got the king and the queen. This person, Aquarius, um, the divine masculine in this connection, 100% knows the answer is yes, they have met the divine counterpart. OK, and um, there's a, still a bit of work to go on. I feel as though it's the divine masculine in this energy that's going through changes and transitions. But when they come through out of this stuck rut, perhaps thinking, OK, this was just a physical thing. Now waking up, ascending to realise, do you know what? This is a lot more. This is my divine counterpart with the king and queen of coins coming up. Um, but they are going to come through, uh, come towards the divine feminine energy of this connection quite slow and steady but they're coming in with a solid offer my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you and the divine feminine i feel as though uh, the divine feminine male or female is is quite disappointed that it's taken so long <laughs> for their divine masculine energy to come forward and that's why they are just in their peace at the moment almost I almost feel as though just reflecting on this connection, knowing that they can't do any more than what they have done already. They themselves may have had to apply self-love um, in preparation. I feel as if they've, they've kind of already there. I feel as though they were once stuck in the rut around... Um, uh, self-love, self-worth, integrity. Um, and I feel as though the divine feminine is now at peace. I feel as if they've gone through that transition, okay? And now the divine masculine is following behind them. That's why they know that they can't take any action right now towards their divine uh, masculine energy. Um, there may be a little bit of residual um, disappointment that the divine feminine needs to work through OK, um, but I feel as though, uh, you know, the, the rut for the divine feminine is getting over disappointment that the divine masculine in the connection didn't didn't see the connection sooner. And the divine masculine in this connection is coming out of the rut, recognizing this is more than just a physical. I've actually met my divine counterpart, but you guys are not so separated like if the king was down here i'd say that you guys have got a long way to go i feel as though you're kind of at the halfway mark which kind of falls within the four months of september october november that that latter part of um the year um <clears throat> which we are almost well we're almost hitting march so we're not quite halfway through the year but i feel as though it kind of it, if you look at the calendar months and we are in February now and we're saying that um, the ascension of the realisation of the depth and, uh, and bond of this connection, uh, Aquarius, is happening, fully coming into fruition around September, October, November. How the cards are positioned in this reading, I feel kind of represents the calendar months as well, uh, if you, if you, if you kind of know what I mean. If it was at the end here then i'd say it was at the end of the year but we're not quite in the middle of the year um but we are getting there okay <clears throat> my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does the twin flames of aquarius thank you yes look at that we have got uh the um divine masculine uh, male or female, um, I feel as though uh, they have this unconditional love for the divine feminine energy in this partnership. And I feel as though this is just 
clarifying and confirming to us that the divine feminine in this connection is disappointed that the um divine masculine is is, is being too slow to come into this connection um but they also know that the divine masculine has got unconditional love for them and i almost feel as though the divine feminine is just holding their peace okay um and allowing allowing the divine masculine to kind of go through their ascension the change and transition of this connection and in a way i kind of feel as though the divine feminine with the guidance of wisdom here bide your time okay they're not rushing they're not rushing to make any action i feel as though the divine feminine knows um the ball is very much in the divine masculine's court yeah look at that they're moving away from anything that's going to interrupt um the journey that the divine masculine has to go on and I feel as though that's not a coincidence. We've got two boats here. And as um, the divine masculine moves away from perhaps denying this connection, I feel as though they're moving into calmer waters, accepting they've, they've, they've met their divine counterpart. And I feel as though the divine feminine in this connection is perhaps maybe intuitively just being calm and I feel as though that is such the right action um, because your calmness divine feminines your calmness just helps to clear the way for the divine masculine to uh, do healing um, understanding and, and to get to that next level and look here they are the divine masculine energy male or female I feel as though that king of wands they're coming in strong to take action wands is all about action they are going to take action towards their divine um feminine counterpart um and yeah put behind i feel like denial um of the connection and move into calmer waters and maybe even express this unconditional love that they have for them for the divine feminine that is thank you last card the last clarifier is, and look at that, the Three of Cups, pure celebration as the Divine Masculine ascends, okay, within the months of September, October, November, okay, moving from choppy waters. They may even be picking up that the Divine Feminine is disappointed that it's taken them so, so long to come forward and offer this cup of love. But guess what? As they take that action towards the Divine Feminine, there is celebration, okay? I feel as though the Divine Masculine in this connection is taking that strong action because they want to be around the Divine Feminine counterpart, okay? They want to celebrate this connection. They want to move things along, I feel. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's have a look and see what um, your Twin Flame messages are, Aquarius. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me the twin flame messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Love on their twin flame journey, week commencing Monday the 22nd of February through, thank you. And we've got, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. Absolutely. I feel as though there was a point, Aquarius, where there were honestly trials and tribulations that really tested this connection um whether you are in union or you're not properly in union or you just met this person i feel as though they i feel as though they connected with the divine feminine energy more on a physical level okay and i feel as the connection and being around each other's energy and knowing who each other are okay the divine masculine energy is 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 ascending to that level and i feel as though what is confusing them is that um you know they they want to do right by the divine feminine energy in this connection and i feel what they're apologizing for is denying this connection at one point i would say my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you and then we have I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. OK, so I feel as though a uh, part of this process um, uh, with the divine masculine is is keeping a bit of a tab 
on the divine feminine um, and as you can see the divine feminine is sitting there um, whether you are male or female whoever holds the divine feminine energy in this connection is almost sitting there with grace with integrity, uh, mastering self-love. Um, and as the divine masculine uh, goes through the process of ascending, recognizing, yes, I am connected with my divine counterpart. Um, they may have been stuck in a rut. They're coming in slowly, coming in with messages of passion. Um, I feel as if what's confusing them is, you know, it's like they, it's, if you can imagine like a bit of a headless chicken um, doesn't know which way to go, left, right, center. It's like this is just it almost feels as if it's overwhelming them. OK, that this connection is a lot more than um, a sexual connection, basically. And they're keeping an eye, I feel, on the divine feminine um, on, you know, maybe their social media um, uh, messages, um, maybe reading through text messages, WhatsApp messages, whatever social media platform you use. I feel as if they are looking at it, looking at it deeply, almost kind of going back and, you know, rereading messages, re, you know, seeing what you're posting um, uh, or, or seeing what the divine feminine is posting online um, to see if it gives them any clue as to, you know, what they're up to, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on. But I just feel as if that divine feminine energy in this connection, uh, Aquarius is just, just sitting there holding their peace with integrity and grace. And then we've got, I'm in a much better headspace now. And do you know what? I feel as though that this is around the divine feminine in this connection. So do you remember what I was saying? The, 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 it feels as though there was a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges within this connection. And there may have been a point where I almost want to say that perhaps that the, the divine feminine may have been quite clingy to the divine masculine energy. Um, and I feel as part of their stuck in the rut was that they were almost stifling the connection. But I feel as though they've moved on. The divine feminine in this connection has definitely ascended before the divine masculine. And I feel as if they're communicating on that 5D astral plane level to the divine masculine um, that they are in a better headspace now, okay? they It's like they no longer... Um, fear kind of losing this person they 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 are they were disappointed okay that it, it it took a while it took a hot minute for the divine masculine energy to come forward and really recognize this connection for what it was but i feel as if they've kind of moved on from that okay that stuck card um being clarified with the disappointment card on the divine feminine side i feel as if they the divine feminine is moving away from that that choppy water okay of perhaps being too clingy stifling the connection um moving into calmer waters almost allowing um self-love to be applied to them okay but also allowing the divine masculine to figure it out themselves and take the appropriate action to come towards them and trust me i feel as if they will do because their celebration coming on Oh, okay, that's, that's, okay, they're saying to me to take it, okay, all right, I wish I could take back the things I said, so there may have been things, divine feminine, um, who are uh, in this connection, as you were going through, um, disappointment feeling that stuck in the rut maybe being a bit clingy um maybe stifling the connection a bit i feel as though there may have been words that you perhaps said to the divine masculine um that you may regret now okay but i feel as though the divine feminine in this connection has definitely moved on from that okay definitely in a much better headspace but i feel as if they do wish that they could take back the words that they said moving out of those choppy waters into calmer waters i feel i just want to say to the divine feminines in this connection don't worry about it don't worry about it because whatever you said it perhaps needed to be said okay in order to trigger the divine masculine to check themselves okay and to walk away from just thinking that this was a physical connection 
and your bonus uh, messages, uh, Aquarius. It says, I feel damaged like I just can't do this. This is 100% um, the Divine Masculine. And the second message is, I can't handle your words right now. So I feel as though um, Aquarius is, the Divine Masculine is communicating that they do feel a bit damaged. They, you know, remember what I was saying with this numbing feeling. It's almost as if I almost feel like this headless chicken um, kind of back and forth, kind of like I don't know which way to go. I try to deny this connection, um, but I can't ignore that I have met my divine counterpart. Um, and I feel as, as they ascend, as they apply self-love in preparation for this union, I feel as though they're trying to let the divine feminine in this connection know on that 5d that they they feel damaged they don't know if they can do this okay and it's all part of them coming out of this stuck in the rut energy and i feel whatever words were said at some point aquarius um the divine feminine's words that were said to the divine masculine, even though there is regret, I feel as though the divine masculine is coming and saying, I can't handle your words right now. It was cut in the first time round. Um, you know, I, 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 I just I just can't handle it right now. And that may um, trigger divine feminine energies um, for you to feel that regret that you want to take it back. And I, I humbly ask you, don't feel regret because I am just strongly picking up that whatever you said, even though it was cutting and even though the divine masculine misconnection uh, is saying on that 5D level that I can't handle your words right now. Um, do you know what? It triggered them to change. It triggered them for transformation. It triggered them to ascend and, and see this connection for what it is they may not coin it as a twin flame okay but they i i feel as though they are uh categorically it's a yes that they have met their divine counterpart or somebody um if if they're not um into i don't know tarot and and um into um spirituality at the same depth as the divine feminine i feel as though they feel as though they've met the person that they want to live their life with okay all right let's have a look as the divine masculine is coming out so strong let's see what advice we have for the divine masculines please my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you message for the divine masculine in this connection you are what you think pure thoughts bring inspiration and happiness absolutely the divine masculines honestly are absolutely just like a headless chicken at the moment and i feel as though um your spirit teams are coming in to say just remember that you are what you think uh, and i feel as though the divine masculine is being guided to keep their vibration up to keep um you know, purity of thoughts, you know, if they thought at one point it was just a physical thing between their divine counterpart, um, it, it just means that you guys have got a really good sex life, okay, but I feel as though, um, be open, okay, um, divine masculines in this connection, be open, um, and, you know, I, I feel just be open to, um, knowing that you have met somebody um, that is extremely important to your spiritual growth, um, your journey here in this lifetime um, on, on this earth. And I feel as though you're being guided to just open it with open your arms um, and welcome it in and allow divine spirit universe to guide you through this transition and bring in that happiness. Be inspired. Um, that's what I kind of want to say to the divine masculines in this connection. All right. And then for our divine feminines in this connection, please. What's your advice for the divine feminines? feminines in this connection on their twin thank you and we have act according to the true nature of circumstances remove any self-importance agenda absolutely i feel as though the advice for the divine feminine in this uh, connection is 
act on the understanding that the divine masculine hasn't ascended fully um <clears throat> to your level i feel as though the divine feminine in this connection um has ascended okay there may have been a point where they they're stuck in the rut was feeling disappointment okay um feeling as though they saw this connection long before their divine counterpart and i feel as though um you're being guided with the advice don't shove it down the divine masculine energies face okay come off of that pedestal um see the true nature of the circumstances okay the true nature of the circumstances is that soul connection that soul contract that you both made to experience um, a, a, a human experience of love growth evolution okay it's part and parcel of your journey so you know aquarius divine feminines even though i said you know don't be regretful of the words that you said because i feel as though it triggered the divine masculine in this connection to go within and really check themselves that actually they have met their divine counterpart but i feel as though divine feminines hold your peace be graceful apply self-love um and, and and come off of any kind of pedestal that makes you that 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 is operating from a place of ego i.e you know i kind of knew that you were my divine counterpart you know way before you did or something like that just try and keep those kind of snarky kind of ego driven comments to yourself it's not going to help the connection keep your vibration up um, and recognize i feel that the divine masculine in this connection is going through um, a change all right so bide your time um because i feel as though as you do um you will get you will yield better results so if you have a bit of that residual disappointment uh, divine feminine energy in this connection um try and work through it yourself okay apply self-love and just hold your peace um stay calm and just allow divine spirit universe has totally got both of you on this connection all right on this journey all right aquariuses i'm going to leave that there for you um if this message resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video it just helps to push this video out to other aquariuses um, that are looking for a twin flame um reading this week um if you would like to know um, when I am uploading new messages, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to click that subscription button. All other information is down below in the description box, uh, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram um, or if you want a quick link to the yearly playlist on the channel. Um, other than that, Aquarius, until next week, next weekend, next month, I am sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.